Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kuldeep here, and uh, today we are going to learn an important concept in the playwright. That is the concept of browser context. Okay, so let's start. So friends, this is the official website of the playwright. Here they have given the technical definition of the browser context. Okay, so basically they say. That a browser context is an isolated incognito alike session within a browser instance. Browser contexts are fast and cheap to create. We recommend running each test scenario in its own new browser context so that the browser state is isolated between the test. Okay. Let's try to understand definition with help of this diagram. Okay. As we know, like with help of the playwright, we can create the browser instance. Okay, and now with help of the browser instance, we can create multiple browser context. Okay, you can see like I have created the three browser context here. So this is my browser context one, this is two, and this is three. And now with help of these browser context, I can create the new pages and we can launch the different URLs. Okay, so let's consider that I have created a browser context one. Okay, and now I have created a page, and in that page I can launch the Google.com, and in the same way with help of the browser context two, I can create a new page and can launch a separate URL, and same goes with the context three. And uh, if I talk about the real time example, so Let's consider when two persons wants to chat with each other. So in that kind of applications, basically this concept will be very helpful. Okay. And now let's see these things practically. So let me quickly create a class. Okay. So let me create a class as the browser context demo. Okay. Okay. So let me use this code to launch the Chrome browser. Okay, so I will just copy it. Okay, and I have already explained this thing in my one of videos. We we'll provide the details of that uh, in the description. Okay, so let me copy this code and uh, let's launch the Chrome browser with the help of this one. Right. So let's try to understand that uh, what is the meaning of this launch method here. So basically, this launch method is returning the browser instance. Okay, with the help of this browser instance, we can create the multiple browser context. Okay, so we can write in this way: browser dot new context. Okay, and you can notice like this new context method is returning a new browser context. Okay, and it wouldn't share the Cookies and cache with other browser context. Okay, so let's store it inside another browser context. So let me write as the browser context the BC one. Okay, and import the correct package from here. Right, and now with help of this BC one, that is browser context one, we can create a new page. So let me create a new page, and uh, let Keep it is even okay. Import correct package here as well, right? And now with help of this p1, let's try to launch the Google.com. So I will write the p1 dot navigate, okay, and uh, simply write the okay Google.com. So let's try to execute this code and see like what is happening here. Then we will create a one more browser context. Okay. So I will simply right click and run as Java application. So here you can see like it has launched the Google.com. Okay. Right. So let's do one more thing. Let's try to get the title of this page. So I will write the this out and p1 dot title okay 
So we have seen like with the help of this browser instance, I have created one browser context. Now let's try to create another browser context. Okay, so I will simply copy this code and uh, let's create another browser context here. So let's create like vc2. Okay, and uh, let's create another page here like v2. Okay, and with the help of this vc2, we are creating a new page here. Okay, and again like. Uh, this is a P2, okay. And now try to get the title of P2. Along with that, we need to change the URL here as well. So I will write the Amazon.com, okay. And in, in case like if you want to create one more context, so we can also do that. So let me quickly create the third context as well. So let's create the third context as the BC3, okay. And uh, with the BC3, we are creating a new page, okay. So let's Keep as P3, okay. And with the help of P3, let's try to navigate to okay, flipcard.com, okay. And uh, try to get the title of P3, okay. So I hope code looks good, right? Okay, so let's quickly execute this code and see uh, what happens here. So here you can notice like with the help of this browser instance actually we are creating the three browser context at least three browsers should be launched okay and they should be launched in in going to mode and which means like they are not storing any kind of the cookies and cache there and they are working independently uh, with each other okay i will simply right click and let's run a java application Okay, so it has launched the Chrome and open the Google.com in first browser context. Okay, in the second, it is Amazon.com, and in the third, it has launched the Flipkart.com. Okay, and if we go to the console, then we can see like it has written the page title for all three different URLs. So for first, it is Google, second, it is Amazon, and this is for the Flipkart. Okay, so guys, that is the way that we can create the multiple browser context in the playwright. I hope it is helpful. Okay, guys, so that's it. Thank you for watching my channel. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much.